Hi guys, I'm Rita. In today's episode, I will show you how you can actually create a bank rule which would save your time and mainly save a time once you are reconciling your bank because transactions will be posted automatically on behalf of you on a Sage accounting software. So how we can set a bank rules? For example, if you have bank fees on a monthly basis, we can create a bank rule. So let's go to banking and find a transaction for which we want to create a bank rule. So I will go to my transactions. And when I scroll to bottom, I have bank fees. So it has found a match, but don't be fooled because it's not matched to business limited. So it just found a credit note unallocated. So always check entries. So we want to create, create a rule. And now we can put a rule name. For example, it's um, bank charges. And we would say, is it payment or receipt? Receipt, which means that money coming into my account, payment, I'm paying out. Okay, activate this rule when saving. When an incoming bank transaction matches the following conditions. So I need to say that, for example, the reference is bank fee and amount is 10. Please be mindful if you have bank fees changes based on activity, what you have taken in your bank account, just remove second um, line, which was stating an, that amount. If amount applies and amount doesn't change, you can put equals to 10 pounds. So if bank fees uh, amount is the same, you can add it there. So it will help, will be making life easier for system to filter particular transaction. Okay, and then we can add um, other details. For example, we can um, select a transaction payment, uh, transaction type, like if it's payment account, other payment or transfer. In my case, it's other payment. I can select supplier if that applies, uh, select a credit uh, like method, if it's electronic check or etc. If you want to set a ban bank rule to particular supplier, you will you will be able to select supplier from your bank um, feeds. For example, if you want to post amounts automatically on their accounts and later you are reconciling. For example, invoices might be um, um, issued for various amounts, but you have a standard payment or direct debit of 50 pounds going every second week out. So you can put a payment on account and then allocate those amounts. That's kind of a very rare situation, I would say. Okay, so reference is bank fee. Additional description can be added. And then we need to select ledger account. So in my case, it will be bank fees, bank charges and interest. Select your account. So if in your instead of bank fees, you will have electricity, select ledger account for electricity thing. So, okay, apply the rule in this order. So I would select that priority is uh, first. Okay, and I can an add another rule if needed, but in this case, I will click save. Okay, so what is an uh, error? Okay, bank fees, sorry, bank fees, save. Okay, so that's been uh, done and dusted. So a rule has been created. So this one I need to post. So I will have bank charges, debit, and I will click on create. So it's been posted already. So when next, um, when next transaction will be upload will be done, you can click apply rules to pending transactions and it will post on system. So this is a way how you can set bank rules to any other expenses or particular customer receipts or supplier payments on Sage accounting software. If you have any questions or require any further advice, feel free to reach out to me. Also, if you have decided to start using Sage accounting software for your business, then I have actually shared a full and complete Sage tutorial. It's my take on how to um, start using Sage for a 
new business or business who wants to move from another accounting software to Sage. So I have shared the link in the description section below. You can go and check it now.